and you got the dock. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, this video, I, I've been refraining from bringing this video forward, but you know something? We need to know this, all right? Uh, I, I already know it, but we need to know this, and you need to know this, okay? Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who say, well, we don't have no military experience, we don't need any, yada, yada, yada. Fine. But I do know this, okay? That if a disaster happened in your area where you're at right now, and you lost all your goods, uh, you lost all your storage, and you lost everything that you have, how will you survive? Okay? Let me tell you something. You see this between my two fingers? This is what you need to survive. Okay? Now, you can store up everything you want to. Look at the Midwest with all the flooding. Uh, which is good. We're supposed to store up. And hopefully, we don't have a disaster that's going to take it out. But, if a disaster takes out your storage, have you considered what you're going to have to do or considered your knowledge? Because you know what? You can't go to Walmarts to buy more water. You can't go to a sporting goods to buy more lures. You can't go anywhere to try to take care of more ammo. All right? Everything you do in these last days first has to be crammed into your brain because you have a, those who have wives and children, uh, they're going to look to you and say, now nah, what do we do? All right? The tornado took out the house. Now nah, what do we do? All of our storage is gone. What do we do? You got this. All right. There's more to prepping in the last days than just having a basement full of stuff. All right. That's a plus. But, you know, when they throw you on an island and you got to survive for four days, or was it five? I can't remember. It's been years ago. You have to live off the land. You have to use this. All right? So I want you to get on the YouTube here. All right? Listen to some of these guys, but don't just do it to store stuff up. Do it with the knowledge of learning so you can use it if you have to survive. All right? If I was to lose everything here, everything then I know I could walk in the woods and I would be able to take care of business and survive but I want to ask you an important question could you do the same thing all right I got a buddy right now who decided to move out into the woods and to practice and learn how to survive he actually did yes he did and you know what? I'm proud of him. Because that's the only way. I mean, I, you don't have to move out in the woods to survive, to learn how to survive. But you should be practicing. Uh -huh. Don't leave it up to Walmart or Sam's Club or Kmart or, you know, any of these other places to try to give you what you need to survive. You need to learn right here. It's one thing I learned in the military from the beginning was they taught us how to survive with just a pocket knife. Think about that. How are you going to survive with just, if, I mean, if that's all you have left is a pocket knife, one, two and a half inch blade pocket knife. Could you support your family with that pocket knife? I think this is what we need to look at these days. I mean, you can buy all these people's foods, buy the buckets. Go right ahead. 
but there's no guarantee that an extreme weather situation is going to take it all out. All right, that's great. Store it up. I am, I am not coming against anybody storing any food. I store it myself, okay? But I'm not relying on it, all right? Because if I rely on it, then if something does take it out, then I'm lost. All right, this is where those who are listening to me need to take it one step farther, okay? Um, we have plenty of preppers out there showing you how to can, how to store, how to prevent, and I'm glad for that because I listen to them too. Thumbs up. Okay. But when the shit hits the fan and you don't have anything but what's on your back or what's in your pockets because a disaster occurred and you can't haul all that ton or tons you're going to have to rely on what you have. Are you able to do that? I just want you to think about it. My next video will get in more depth, okay? Think about it. Doc's just making sure you're covered. All right. God bless.